Hello everyone, welcome to this third episode of the Homeless Sims Challenge. So I guess that as you can see in the title of this episode, something didn't go quite as I planned. So one of the first thing that I did in this playthrough was socializing with our dog and then setting the thing on fire. Okay, I have no idea where the dog is going, but he is going super, super fast. So the temperature right now is pretty low, and that's why I'm putting so many logs on the fire, just so it doesn't extinguish. Okay, so I guess that I can roast some food here, like marshmallows and dogs, and I do not need to have any kind of money to do that. That's gonna be a plus here. Isn't it so cute that Sweetie, like the dog, is just like right next to my sim instead of playing around as a normal dog would do? I think that's super sweet. I think the dog might actually be begging for food now that I think about it. Okay, so I guess that my dog just went hunting for some reason. And it just left a present right behind my sim. Oh, it's a toy! Well, I guess that my dog's priority is not eating but playing. Okay then. And I see some people coming down the hill. I wonder if they are coming to visit my house? Okay, so I know that a moment ago I said that Sweetie was sitting next to my sim instead of running like a normal dog, but now it's running wild. Okay, so I guess that they are coming to see my supposed house. And it's actually letting me choose the option invite neighbor in, but in where? Okay, game. Didn't you realize that I don't have a house? I know that my sim is going to have lots and lots of moments and possibilities of making a good friendship, but since those two guys just approach my household, whatever, on their will, not because I told them to hang out or anything, I think it would be nice if I was just, I don't know, like be friendly with them and maybe start a friendship. And it is still showing the invite neighbor in option. What the... what? So the first guy that left me alone is just sitting here next to the fire not talking to my sim. And the other guy I have no idea of where he is. Oh wait, here he is. Oh no 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 guy, I'm not letting you go. I'm gonna talk to you and I want to start a nice and sweet friendship between us both. Okay, dog, can you tell me what the are you doing? You know what, I am super glad that I created this little area here with a bench made of stone. I think that it is kind of romantic, isn't it? Okay, so I spent some time with the other guy in that area. I want to spend some time with this guy too. Wait, 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 and who are you? Okay, so a third guy just appeared randomly here and my dog seems to be as confused as I am, but not my sim. I think that my sim thinks that this is totally normal, and I am just... What? Where did you come from? Okay, so I'm leveling up on training my dog just by throwing a ball. Fantastic! Okay, so I guess that my dog went to look for the ball, but it didn't bring it back, so I had to go pick it up myself. Great. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Oh my god, this can't be happening! I'm on fire! And it doesn't let me extinguish the fire, why not? Leave the fucking ball on the ground! Oh god, don't just walk away and stand there looking at the fire, do something about it! You can't fucking extinguish it, can you? Oh my god, what's going on you guys? The whole freaking forest could be burning down right now, there is nothing stopping the freaking fire! So I had to freaking call the dog because the dog was standing right next to the fire where he could die! And these three sims are just sitting at the fire yelling and crying and not doing anything about it. Why? Oh, so you are Tense Diamond about this fire? Well, you are in the game and you can do something about that fire right now. You have the choice to do something about it and you're not doing anything. While I'm sitting here in front of that screen watching how you do nothing. Guys, it's been two minutes since that fire started and you're still doing nothing about it and what's worse another dog is approaching my supposed house why 
Okay, so this is so funny. A stray dog just randomly appear in this place. It's caught on fire and the fire magically disappeared. Okay, should I be scared of that dog? Okay, I know this is not the best moment to start cleaning up, but that is my OCD playing with me. So I really need to tidy this place as much as I can. I'm sorry, everyone that's watching this. You don't have to suffer through this. I'll make it quick. Wait, wait, wait. I could swear I saw a dog just now while I was cleaning. And I have no idea where it went. And there's another one right there. What's going on here? Wait, I found the first dog. But it is with another dog that it's not mine either. So why are here so many dogs that are not mine? Is this place enchanted or something? Or did I forget to check the traits of this land or this house or something? I should do that when I start the game again because I'm really confused. Okay then, so I guess it was about time that my same had to pee or something or use that bush. So yay, uh, enjoy the bio I guess. And why is there another present right next to the peeing bush? Didn't you have any other places to put it at, dog? Okay, so all the presents that my dog is giving me are literally just toys. Like the squeaking ball, the ducky thing, and the other ball that got burned during the fire. Okay, I mean, I know that your ball was destroyed, but I didn't need two more toys. Get something to eat or something. Okay, so here is my failed attempt to have a cautious introduction with that dog that just went to sleep. He totally ignored me. Great. So I have three stray dogs sleeping behind my cave and another one sleeping near the fireplace. Okay, what's going on, guys? Okay, I have to note two things right now. The first one is that it doesn't let me cook because I didn't have money, which is great. The second one, they just suffered a wildfire right here because of the fire thingy and it's on again. Who was so stupid to turn it on again? So soon? Why? I've been playing since 4 for a while now and I did not know that I could fake throw a ball. That's something that I just discovered. Oh, look who woke up. One of the stray dogs that just decided to sleep in my plot of land. Okay, so apparently I had to tell my dog to go poop even though there's a lot of land to go anywhere he wants. You know, I actually like the dog. I'm gonna try to have a cautious introduction and see how it works. Not the reaction that I hoped for, really. Maybe I could try with any of the other stray dogs and have better luck? Wait, was that dog drinking from my dog's pee? Okay, definitely not my day. Oh, but look, it looks like Sweetie was trying to help. Never mind, it's drinking its own pee. Okay, this was so odd that I had to just not punish but scold my dog to not drink from its own pee. That was super odd and awkward and disgusting. And while I do that, another dog is inside my bush. Oh god, she's gonna be freezing. It's snowing! So I realized that there was a beach next to our plateau land, so I told her to go fishing. And she is failing. A lot. I'm gonna speed this up because she sucks at this. Even the dog looks confused. Like, girl, just stop doing this. And it gave me another present. Thank you, sweetie. Well, she managed to get something at the very end, but it wasn't a fish, so what the hell? Okay, this is weird. I'm trying to make her eat and give some of the food to the dog, but she's just stupid. And she ate the whole thing without giving anything to her loved dog. Why do you gotta be so mean, Diamond? Okay, I really did not mean to clean up the bitch. It was um, kind of impulsive sorry and because she didn't want to be so OCD I guess that she just tossed it I did not cancel that order okay I don't know why I'm making her fish when she should be sleeping 
oh my god did you see that house it is so ironic that we are living right next to that huge house and we didn't have anything okay she should really be sleeping i'm sorry it's freezing out here and it's snowing but at least this time she managed to get two fish that's a good improvement and it is time to go to sleep, so this will be the end of this video and on the next one I'm gonna try to improve on some of her friendships. Let's see how that goes. Hopefully next day won't be as tragic as this one and we won't have any wildfires. Bye!